What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are all doing well. Happy holidays. Um, gonna start doing some videos guys. Uh, now that the 180 builds out of the way, everything's uh, you know just growing in and uh, you know for, for the most part all the hard stuff's done. So it gives me more time to uh, to do videos and uh, I jotted down a bunch of topics. Uh, I got about eight topics I think and uh, tonight we're gonna get uh, get rolling on the first one. So a uh, topic I've been trying to, or been wanting to do for a long time, uh, CO2 diffusion. Um, just the different ways that you can diffuse CO2 in your aquarium. So we're going to jump right into this, starting with uh, a ceramic drop in the tank diffuser. Um, this is a real common one. Um, and I wished I had stumbled upon this one earlier rather than had gone through a pile of them that were junk. Um, I, I went on Amazon and I was buying like those glass ones in from like who knows where. Uh, they took forever, like up to a week to get. They're probably from like China or wherever. Um, they're they're not bad, most of them, but uh, they don't last like these do. Um, for the money, this is a great in drop in the tank diffuser. Um, so uh, I don't know, they're around ten bucks, give or take. Uh, maybe a little more than that, but uh, the the ceramic part's actually replaceable too, so you can buy. A replacement uh, it's probably like four bucks or something four or five bucks for the replacement I bought like a handful of these things I got like six of them right now I don't no longer use this uh, to diffuse co2 but um, I do have them on hand in case I want to use them on a different tank or something um, so that's one way guys um, and then you've got your reactors and your inline diffusers um, so my my next thing was I, I went to a reactor uh, and, and the reasons that I did that is because, uh, of course, uh, a drop in the tank diffuser is not really going to, especially in a bigger tank, is not really going to be, uh, the CO2 is not going to be all used up. It's You're not going to get 100% absorption because uh, the diffuser, it's just coming out of one spot in your tank. And, you know, if it doesn't have a lot of hang time, the bubbles aren't really really fine and they're not you know they're, they're a lot of it's going to escape and be wasted so um when you want to use your co2 more wisely i guess i would say um and not waste as much you'd want to go with like a reactor or an inline diffuser um so here's i printed out these pictures guys sorry if you really can't see too well i tried to think of the best way to do this i actually have one of these but i i put it in storage um I messed around with this thing for like 45 minutes and tried to get it to work. It's probably just me. Uh, I know a lot of people that use them and they're great. Um, if, especially if you don't want to have a lot of bubbles in the aquarium. Uh, these are great because, uh, so let me explain here. Um, you got your ports, one on the bottom, one on the top. So you plumb this in line to your canister filter or whatever type of filter you're going to use. Um, and then this port on the side here is for your CO2 injection. So what happens is your CO2 gets pumped into this chamber when this fills with water and these balls kind of break up the CO2 and, and help to, um, to mix it up better before it goes into your tank. So, and these work great. I mean, you're going to get 99.9% .9 CO2 diffusion if you set it up correctly. Um, so these are another, these are a great thing. I, I spent about, I don't know, hundred something bucks on this thing. And it's literally just sitting in storage because I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't get it to work right with the pump that I had at the time. And I just got real, I'm not a very patient person when it comes to stuff like this. So um, I didn't end up going with it. But there's plenty of people out there using them and they're great. So here's a much better way than just using a drop in the tank diffuser. All right. So your third, um, your third choice, which is roughly the same idea, but just a little more compact and a little less... I don't know, just a lot easier setup, I think. Uh, Greenleaf Aquariums uh, makes this um, inline diffuser, which is pretty cool. It's really small and compact. Uh, I know you can't really tell the size here, but the thing's probably like three or four inches max. Um, it's really small, and it's the same concept as the diffuser. You got an input and an output, and your CO2 line comes in. Now, the difference between this, I'm going to show you. I got a blown up picture here that's a little bit bigger to show you what's going on here. So, same thing guys, just a little bit blown up. Now, okay, so CO2 gets pumped into this little chamber thing, and your aquarium water is in this line here, right? Okay, so, sorry, the nipples are cut out for the, um, the hoses, but 
I just blew this up to show you guys that this is basically like an air stone type of material or a diffuser type of material. Um, so pretty simple to understand. The CO2 is pumped into here. Once it hits a certain pressure, it's going to go through this wall and into your water stream. Now, really cool. It's just a really cool uh, setup. I mean, uh, works really good. The only issue with these is they can make your water in your tank look like club soda. Like, you just have to be careful um, how short your uh, output line is and everything. But this is what I currently use right now. My tank's a little bubbly now, but um, it it doesn't, let's say, it doesn't bother me. I, it's not so bad where I, I'm that worried about it. I may try to do something different. I don't know if I'll try to experiment with the reactor again. A lot of people are getting better luck with the reactor. Um, but I'm going to be doing something here pretty soon to try to eliminate some of those bubbles. So it basically just looks like micro bubbles, um, like from a skimmer and a reef tank or something like that, um, where your output's just going to spit a bunch of bubbles out. But um, And on that note, this tank, uh, I didn't really uh, explain, but this this tank here, this is my 30 gallon. This, this does not have CO2 on it. Um, I figured I'd change up the scenery for you guys and... Uh, you know, uh, I don't show this tank very often, so uh, this is like my plant grow out tank, and it's a mostly a low tech tank. I don't, it's not very high light. Um, I don't use CO2 in it, like I said, and I grow out plants in here to go into the 180. So, um, but those are the three main ways, guys, uh, that you can do it. Uh, all three are going to work just fine. Some better than others. Um, that uh, last inline diffuser I showed you is only about 40 bucks. So, to me, that's affordable. I, I mean, the, like I said, the reactor was about a hundred something bucks and a lot harder to set up. Uh, not a lot harder, but it's more complicated for sure than the inline diffuser. And a drop in the tank diffuser is simple. So, um, all those will work. I just wanted to show you guys, uh, kind of share my experiences with them and, you know, point out the different experiences. And that's it, guys. Um, so thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Happy holidays, guys. I'm going to be doing some more videos. Like I said, I got some cool topics coming up. So uh, thank you.